our chocolate avocado mousse, what we need are four ripe Haas avocados. Let, John, can you tell yeah, me let, about... Let me give you a hand picking them. You've got... You, your Haas avocado starts at the green, goes to the medium browny purple colour and ends yep. up in a nice black. So you, when you're cooking a dessert especially, yes. and for salads, you want a nice black soft Haas avocado. That's it. Yep. And so if you just squeeze them very lightly, yeah, that should be... Gently, especially at the top there, yep. if they just start to give, they're ready to go. Okay, spot on. So you guys know how to, how to actually find the right avocado and we'll get stuck into making our super simple dessert right about now. You just need a food processor and arm yourself with a trusty spatula and you are good to go. Okay, we're just going to take the skin off. But you can actually dissect it into quarters. We're gonna pop them straight into the food processor here. So we've got our avocados in the food processor. Yep. Now we are going to grab five to six uh, tablespoons of either cacao powder or cocoa powder. Now cacao powder is the original form of chocolate and it's really high in antioxidants. Or you can just get cocoa from your supermarket. It smells fantastic. Yeah, we love our chockey. And then we're going to use, you can use either honey or you can use sugar syrup or you could use agave syrup from your health food store. And we're going to squeeze some of that in. Like this is dead simple look at this yeah, it's just combining this is not, yeah this is not difficult cooking but it's it smells, not at all even just that cocoa and the honey oh it's fantastic that's it look at that yum so we've got honey here today yep. and then we've got some beautiful coconut cream or coconut milk mm -hmm. and we're just going to pour a little bit of that in and basically that's going to provide it with an extra richness and creaminess along with the avocado it ends up tasting just yeah, absolutely tasty. amazing. All right. Now, highly technical here. Just going to turn that on. And let that blend. Yep. <laughs> so all we're doing is just blending up the avocado till it's we basically blended the crap out of it until there are no green chunks in there and then you know it's good to go. <laughs> so while we've got the blender going, mm -hmm. um, let's let's have a bit of a chat about our beautiful garnish we're about to get started yep, on. So yep. Beautiful Australian navel oranges that just come into season. They're absolutely stunning. Really, really nice at this time of year. Juicy, yep, delicious, juicy. Ah, yep. healthy, yep, yummy. Nice. And the good thing about these two, they're packed full of vitamin C. You can use them on a dessert like this. You can use you can them in use them. salads. Yeah. And you, you can use them for anything, really. Eat yeah. on the go. That's it. As you said, and it's, oh, they're, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of different varieties in the citrus family. You've there got are. The, the, your standard navel orange, which are beautiful fruit. Uh, blood oranges, tangelos. Uh, there's just so many varieties. Yum. Yeah. Listen to this guy. He knows his <laughs> fruit. He's onto it. Yep. And that's a good thing, isn't it? You can head down to your local green grocer. It's great to ask them a few questions about the produce. They'll always direct you in the right way. That's it. That's These exactly guys right. are in the know. Yep, yep, we are. <laughs> all right. So let's so let's get started on the garnish yep, here. Let's do that. All right. So all again, so technical. Really, really difficult operation <laughs> here. All right. So we're just going to peel our beautiful orange and get make sure you get rid of all of the pith around the edge which is the white as you would know it's the white skin on the outside now that's quite bitter isn't it it is yeah. the pith is bitter so okay. that's not good to us uh -uh. Yeah. No, we want sweet for this dish we do <laughs> so I'm just going to cut in between each of the segment just like that and then you've got this beautiful little segment here okay oh look at that just that's like perfect. that and I'm going to pop that aside yep for our dessert, we're going to use that as a simple garnish. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So we've got a yummy mousse. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do now is yeah. we're going to just pull that off there. Okay. And we're no going to worries. pop it into a bowl. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, my beautiful assistant. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> All right. So. Look at the spatula. Texture. That's beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it? Look at that. Yum straight into our bowl. So now that John and I have absolutely covered ourselves in chocolate, yep, yep. We've, we've made our mousse, let's get started with our base here. So okay. we've got a big handful of macadamia nuts, mm -hmm. doesn't need to be too precise. Okay. All right, this is going to be the world's simplest base you've ever made. So throw those into your food processor. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll use all of them, why not? 
So now we're going to put our honey in. You can use honey, as we said before, agave, sugar syrup, and just probably use a couple of tablespoons just to sweeten up our base here. So all we're going to do is blend up our macadamias. And we're going to pull out just a few of those slightly larger chunks because mm -hmm. they make a wonderful texture in the base. Okay. So we'll pull out maybe a couple of tablespoons of those chunks. So what we're looking for is a chunk about that size and they're going to make a wonderful texture in the base of this mousse. Okay, so we'll pop those aside. Yep. And then can you do the honours? Pop the lid on. Give that a burl and then we're ready to finish off our base. So we're looking for our macadamia base. You can see it's starting to come together here. And in a second, I'm gonna show you what it's like when it's absolutely spot on. What do you think? It's looking good. Ready to go? All right, let's see how it's looking. So how do you tell if it's, it's ready to go? Okay, so you can see that that's formed a crumb. Yep. And if you reach in, this is the fun part, okay. jump in there, okay. grab a couple of pieces. Yep. You can see that it's pulling together. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's nice and soft, it looks like a bit of a crumb. Yep. And that's ready to go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're ready to put this dessert together. Mm -hmm. um, let's grab a glass each. That sounds fantastic. And so, John, you could just grab a couple of those nice chunky bits there okay. and put those in the bottom. Yep. Beautiful. No. All right, so just grab I'll a few. Get a couple of them. Get in there as many as you like. Oh. See, I'm confiscating them. <laughs> All right, and next thing we do is grab some of the base here and pop that over the top. So you're sort of you're layering the texture so it goes we from the, the crunchier through to the softer. That's it, and you can even grab a few more of those bits, pop them over the top. Mm -hmm. There you go, my dear. Oh, thank you. And then just smooth it out. Yep. Look at that, that's ready to go. So the first thing that we're gonna do yep. is we're going to grab our beautiful 70% dark chocolate. Okay. And this is going to provide some texture. Mm -hmm. This is going to provide us a bit of texture. So okay. the mousse is creamy, you've got a few little chunks of dark chocolate in there. It's yep. so yummy. Beautiful. I love a bit of chocolate. We need to have for chocolate. Yeah, that's it. We need to have a little bit now. Just for taste. <laughs> Just to make sure it's okay. Mm. <laughs> Being the chocoholics that John and I definitely are, and I'm sure a lot of you at home love your chocolate too. Mm, definitely. This is the good gear. So 70% dark chocolate, mm -hmm. high in antioxidants, just like our avos. That's fantastic. It's good to know it's good for you too. Yeah, that's it. So all we need to do is just blend it up into nice little chunks. So okay. let's get started. Perfect. All right. Okay, so you can see we've got little chunks like that that are going to go through the mousse. Smaller, larger, whatever you like, whatever tickles your fancy. The chunks are looking pretty good. I've already made the mousse, so let's combine the two. Sounds good. So John, my local greengrocer, my friend, can you give me a hand in grabbing the chocolate and we're going to combine it with the mousse here? Sounds fantastic. All right. All right so no let's pull that off. Yeah. That's it. Take this Take that here guy out. out. That one anyone He's a man who... That's it. All right. And then just pour that in there. Yep. There we go. And all we're going to do is just combine the two. Just fold it in and then that section's done. So that's nice and combined. Grab your glass, my darling. We are getting ready to get our mousse oh, in here. Sounds good. Grab a spoon. All right. And then just dollop all of yep. your mousse in here into the glass. John, just make sure you leave a little bit of room at the top because okay. we're just about to put our beautiful navel oranges on top. Beautiful. Okay, okay. How's that looking? Have we got enough oh, room look, at the top Look, he's a there? serious professional. Mm -hmm. John is. It's true, it's true. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, we've just we've got our orange garnish here. Yep. And it's as simple as just popping two of those on top. 
So there you have it, the chocolate avocado mousse with some fresh orange on top. Mm -hmm. So you can eat it immediately mm -hmm. or you can have it semi-frozen straight into the freezer. Away you go for a dinner party. I'm more of a fan of the immediate. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So let's get stuck into it. We need to have a bit of a taste and just make sure it's Sounds okay. Good. Sounds good. <laughs> mm. That is beautiful. That's stunning. Yum! <laughs> if I do say so myself, not too bad. Yeah, I can't believe this is made with avocados. It <laughs> tastes too good to be healthy. That's it. With the chocolate avocado mousse, there are loads of different garnishes you can put on top. What yeah. sort of garnishes would you recommend? Uh, there's some beautiful garnish. You can use uh, tangelos, oranges oh, that yeah. we've done. If you want to go away from the citrus field, raspberries, strawberries, Yum. anything, anything like that would be absolutely stunning on top of this. Absolutely. So get on down to your local green grocer. These guys have got an amazing knowledge base, so check in with them. They're always really happy to share with you what's in season, what's fresh, what's really good at the moment. And as you can see from what we've done today, it is so easy to make beautiful recipes from our fresh produce at your local green grocer. And remember, everybody's body needs fresh fruit and veggies. Everybody's body needs fresh fruit and veggies.